Hello everyone, this is Than from Tidal Gardens, and in this video I will be demonstrating two methods that we use to propagate mushroom corallomorphs. The first method I will show is our favorite because it addresses the problem of attaching mushrooms once they are cut. Mushrooms heal really well from cuts, but don't do so if they're floating around the tank. Notice I picked out a mushroom that was attached to a small piece of rubble. When I make my cut, I want to be sure that the two cuttings are still attached to the rock. Although mushrooms will heal through almost anything, it's good practice to cut through the mouth of the polyp in the center. That speeds up the healing process. Now that the flesh of the polyp has been cut, I'm going to use a bone cutter to cut the rock in half. The reason I want to cut the rock is so that I can separate the two cuttings. If you don't separate them, sometimes the two parts will fuse back together, which kind of defeats the purpose of cutting them in the first place. These mushroom frags are now ready to go back into the tank. Just to clarify, I'm showing techniques here to speed up the propagation of mushrooms. Mushrooms will divide on their own through a process called pedal laceration, where they slowly scoot around the tank and leave behind small pieces of their foot. These pieces will grow into full-size mushrooms, and if you're patient, mushrooms will pretty much fill a good amount of tank space all on their own. I promised two techniques, so here is a method where you do not have the benefit of the mushroom cuttings being attached to rubble already. I'm intentionally cutting this mushroom through its mouth same as last time, but as you can see, it's a loose frag. The nice thing about this method is that you can cut a single mushroom into four or eight pieces if you're not really worried about every single piece being stuck to a piece of rubble. As I mentioned earlier, mushrooms heal really well from being cut. The problem is they blow around the tank if they're not attached to anything. What I do is to place them in a special tank with very low flow and a rubble substrate to make it as easy as possible for them to attach. What some people do is put some rubble into a plastic container and cover it with a mesh material like wedding veil for example. This technique is good for preventing loose cuttings from floating around the tank, but I personally do not like to do this because it can take up to two weeks for loose mushrooms to attach to substrate, and in that time a great deal of algae can grow on that mesh screen. That algae does suffocate your mushroom frags. Alright, that does it for mushroom propagation. Thanks again for watching.